So since I bought my DJI Spark and controller separately, <clears throat> I was kind of worried about having a case for this that, that wasn't going to cost an arm and a leg and was going to be a hard case. And I found this. I'll leave a link in the description in Thingiverse. <clears throat> and decided to go ahead and print my own case with uh, my Anycubic i3 Mega. Now I had to I had to print these because of the bed. You can see the size of this. I had to print them at an angle, uh, up like that, uh, both sides because they wouldn't fit straight across uh, either way. So they've got this like really cool sideways design on it. I think is is pretty legit. But at the same time, uh, this one ended up. Uh, I put supports everywhere. And it only had like one support end up actually standing and the other support fell right off the bat and it drug all this extra plastic over and so there was just a ton of cleanup. And I'll put a I'll put a picture up on the 3D printer right up here so you guys can see what that kind of looked like. So there was a ton of cleanup to do uh, from this one. Not so much from this one, the the supports actually showed up and there wasn't very much cleanup to do. What I've still got to do is get a wire uh, to run through here and here. It just connects like this. And then it's got these little side clips. That side clip in here, which I'm going to super glue the top part of the clip in. And then the, the bottom part will just clip in. But since one part's not attached, it won't stay on at the moment. So. <clears throat> you may be wondering why there's big holes here in the top. I'm going to go ahead and put the drone and stuff in here and show you guys. Show you guys working. This is a cool thing. I'll just show you the lid. I've got my, my cord that connects my phone to the controller. And then I've got uh, my extra spare props right here. Okay. And then uh, it's got another little spot right down here for like your charger cord or something like that. Uh, the drone goes right in here and you've got these little side things for your fingers so you can pick it up real easily. So your drone just fits right in like that. And then the controller goes right in like that. And let me show you one other thing. You can it has two spots for two spare batteries. You can put one there. And one here. I had it in earlier, I don't remember how it goes. There we go. Just like that. So, two spare battery parts. Pretty nice little case. It's a hard case. I made it with a PLA. And once this goes together, you can see those holes in the top because it's not quite tall enough to cover. I don't have this in, so it's, it's giving me crap right now. We've got these little extra cutouts right here. And it hooks on there. It goes straight down. And you can see your you can see your little thing sticking up right there. So that's the box there. I mean it's a nice little it's a nice little carrying case, just a quick 3D print. And I've got a carrying case up. I'm thinking about sanding it down and just kind of coloring it whatever color I want to. The problem is since I had to do it all sideways and stuff. And it had like minimal supports. You can see where it kind of had to stretch out just a little bit. Kind of up towards the top. And this is how this one went. I'll show a picture of it right there. Uh, you can see kind of how it struggled a little bit going sideways. Uh, but like I said, it's just a, it's just a carrying case. I, I wanted just a case, a simple little case for my DJI Spark.
and it's just a nice little case. Had I had had I bought the uh, fly more package, I would have gotten uh, from DJI one big enough uh, to fit both of them in it and stuff. But since I bought the drone first, all I had was this here, and this doesn't have any room for anything but two spare batteries no room for your controller or anything so and you can see the size of them now this fits a drone and a controller and it's smaller so man that's amazing pretty cool uh, that's it that's that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, Another thing too, I'll be getting this in the air. I've tried to do, and I'll, I'll put a video right up here. Uh, I don't know what's up with my phone. I've tried to do the video showing you guys uh, putting it way up in the air. I put it at like 100 feet and did the active track on my bicycle where it would just go over the top of trees. And it works fine, but the, the, the video itself in my Go app is real glitchy and it's like like eight seconds off like even longer than eight seconds at some points it's just freezing freeze framing and all sorts of stuff and so I haven't been able to make a clear good video and I forgot the SD card today I was just gonna go ahead and do it and show you guys uh, the regular footage of it but I forgot the SD card while I was out and so it just didn't work so I'll be getting you guys that video soon uh, plus the the distance test with uh, the cord plugged in and without the cord plugged in for the uh, remote control. Uh, one more thing before I'm done with this, if you have a 3D printer I would suggest that you 3D print this little ga gadget here. I love this thing. I've used this every day since I made it. It, sh it prints in one, two, three, four pieces. This front piece, the handle, and then the two pieces of the case. All it is is a little razor blade scraper. I, no joke, I've used this every single day. Not only can you cut things doing this whole thing, and it's easier to cut when you treat it like a pencil, uh, but scraping things, especially along uh, my 3D prints, those tags and stuff, like that little tag there, you can see there was these pieces sticking off here, and I just took this along and you can't even really feel it now. It's it's very, very smooth. So, I mean, I use this a ton now on all my 3D printed parts on any tags or anything. In fact, I used it for all the cleanup on the back side of this. And it looks like a bunch. It really looks like a bunch, but it's really not. I mean, when you feel it, you can't really feel, except for right there where it's real deep. Other than that, it's it's fairly smooth. And that's because I, I took this and I just kind of went across any, any tag that was really sticking up. And just got it. I mean, this thing is amazing. And then it's got a little safety. Well, it's got a little spot where you can hold extra razor blades. And then when you're done, you can store this in here if you have kids or something. And just shut it. And it's got a little safety thing. I just... It's got a little hole here in the end. I just put a piece of wire through it and holds it together just fine. I have that same wire, but it won't fit through uh, the ones here, so I'm going to have to get a thinner wire to put through this case. But I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys that before uh, I got off of here. Oh, one more thing, too. If you guys have watched my latest videos, uh, you'll see that I've been making helmets. In multiple pieces. If you guys get a 3D printer and make helmets in multiple pieces, make sure you print a couple of these off first because you're going to need clamps. And the cool thing about these is these don't get too tight because they're 3D printed and they can only get so tight before you know the thread starts skipping. You can put your finger in this and tighten it down as far as it'll go and it won't hurt, but it gets it just tight enough to even up all the edges to where you don't have to use too much. Uh, too much bondo and everything so this has been a real lifesaver for me right here just this little clamp and I'll leave a I'll leave a link in the description for the clamp and for the razor blade 
uh, scraper thing. And then for for the DJI Spark Box, if you guys would like to, to check that out. Uh, if you don't have a 3D printer, but you have a DJI Spark, and you want a box like this, I would suggest uh, asking somebody that has a bigger table that would be able to print it flat, because it's going to turn out so much better than, than mine turned out, uh, and it's going to be a lot more even. But if you would like it, and you don't know anybody with a 3D printer, just get a hold of me, send me a message or something, and we can try to work something out. Uh, I'm sure we could... I'm sure we could work something out because I like this little thing I really do and then you you can just assemble it whatever way you want to anyways my name is Bryson Michael RC just wanted to show you guys that